Ever wonder how soldiers shoot accurately, even in the stress of a combat environment? In this episode of The Making of a Soldier, we learned about the kind of training that helps soldiers do just that. Kenya Mills reports. It's another early morning at the range, and this 16-man squad is revving up for today's basic training event. As they warm up, the conversation's about their platoon name. We're the 2nd Platoon Combat Wombats. I know it sounds intimidating, but it's really marsupial. The Wombat, a cute alternative to the typical Army mascot. Death dealers, night stalkers, warriors, no. We're marsupials. We're a cuddly little animal that's kept as a pet. We triumph in the face of adversity. Today, the Wombats will face some of that adversity at an event called a stress shoot. Let's go! A test of will, stamina, and the fundamentals of shooting combined. Because we know when we shoot in combat that it's not going to be you know, just this, this low key thing. They, we got to get their heart rates up and get them used to firing under stress. The troops are given a packing list for a 35 pound ruck. They're wearing a 25 pound bulletproof vest and are carrying a seven and a half pound M4 carbine. That's almost 70 pounds of added weight. It feels pretty light. Depends on how well you pack it. No matter how you pack it, that weight is about to feel a whole lot heavier. The stress shoe starts with a double time, almost a mile to the first stop. The weight of the packs and equipment is making it difficult for some of the smaller team members to keep up. Started off really well, but obviously got harder as we went. Come on, guys, let's go. In the whole company, there's overall maybe like 15 of us small ones. You know, I'm put with all these, all the tall people, so their legs are obviously stretching out further than mine, so I found it actually quite challenging. We knew who they were going into it, so we knew we, what we'd have to do. To just prepare for that and just do what you have to do to get them across the line. To the right, to the right! The squad reaches its first point, finding two casualties that require first aid. Hey, somebody get over here! They must stop an arterial bleed with a tourniquet and patch another soldier with a pressure dressing. We kind of knew who our medic guys were. They're a little better, stronger in knowledge. So we had them jump on that and just get them through it and then move on out. Here we go! Now they have to run nearly a mile to the shooting range. Let's go, guys. We know what we have to do to get back. About halfway through, you you don't feel anything else. You just keep pushing. Felt better coming back. We knew what the distance was, where our little markers were at, so we just kept pushing. Come on. Sounds odd, but seeing the other ones in pain kind of keeps you going. You need to be that motivation to them to so just push through whatever you feel. We're used to it. Once at the shooting range, they have to engage 25 to 300 meter pop-up targets. They're being tested on their ability to shoot when their bodies are fatigued and breathing is hard to control. The main key factor shooting is your breathing and just coming off a run like that, you're moving so much, trying to maintain a breath, so you really have to, a lot of focus is on that, on just keeping that breath. Let's go guys, come on! Learning to shoot under physical and mental duress is the reason why stress shoots are a staple in infantry training. These soldiers will move on to see more of these scenarios with much more complexity in the operational army to prepare them for the rigors of combat. I want to see them be able to work under stressful environments and still execute the things that we've been teaching them uh, without us sitting there standing over them telling them exactly how to operate. Let's go, push it to the end. And for the Wombats, the lesson of the day is also the importance of good teamwork. Let's go boys, come on. Good job guys. Come on. Good job. You have to work as a team to make it to point one to point two. You have to. Kenya Mills, Fort Benning TV. I'm ready to go to battle with you. Go Wombats.